welcome back. The Hills of Eyes 2 came out back in 2007 and was directed by Michael Weiss and follows a group of National Guard trainees who heads towards the New Mexico desert, also known as Sector 16, only to find themselves battling against a vicious group of mutants. Alright, starting off with the positives. The look and the lighting, like in the first one, was done really well. It had that dryness, but the only difference is I could see a little more green. I could see like more bushes here and there. When in the first one, you probably could see some, but very little. It's like the family in that one was on like a different side of that desert. But I thought it was done really well in this film. The story was decent. It basically shows that not even the military is no match for these cannibals. And that's saying something, because in real life, they probably would have wiped the floor with them. I don't care how strong they are. The music was good. Like in the first one, it had that rock vibe if something bad was getting ready to happen. I felt like they added something to it, though. But like with all sequels, they they you got to do that. So you know, keep it keep the score fresh, while still maintaining its originality. All right, the only character in this film I actually cared about was a girl named Missy, played by Daniela Alonso. She's real tough and strong, yet she's a mother, and she knows she has something to come back to. But a lot of crap happens to her that that's really makes you feel really sorry for this woman. But I liked her performance. I thought she was really well written. And of course, I always got to give it to the blood and gore. In a movie like this, you got to have plenty of it and plenty of gore. Accompanied by a good story, though it was a good story. There's something else that I got to hop on later, but I'll get into that. But the blood and gore, perfect. All right, in the mix section, the cannibals. They were impactful in the first, but they wasn't as impactful in this one, though. The 2006 remake, those cannibals really got to me. They were sadistic in every way. And this one, it just seemed like they dumbed them down a little bit. They didn't really flesh them out as much. One of them actually had a soldier's uniform on. And the way his face looked, he was a little deformed, but he didn't look as deformed as he should have been. I will say this. There is a cannibal in this, which I think was the leader. His name was Papa Hades. And he's played by the same guy who played the cannibal with the axe in the first one. Michael Bailey Smith comes back to play Papa Hades in this. And just like his character from the first one, he was huge, he was muscular. I think they may have got him some extra form of attire to wear because he looked even huger in this. But this guy could play sadistic, tough characters. The negatives, as for the rest of the characters, I didn't really like him. I, I thought they were too bland. I didn't really care for a single one except for that Missy character. The movie wasn't as impactful as the first one. They touch on a very sensitive subject in this film, but it involves rape. The first one, you don't see any of that. The first one is just straight up horror, not anything else. The perfect ingredients for a horror film. And this, they just had to harp on the whole rape thing. I'm just not that big a fan of that. That's why I was never into the I Spit on Your Grave films or the Last House on the Left films. Even though those movies ended up pretty horrible for the villains, still, I just can't stand rape. But as for the cannibals in this, you want to make them as sadistic as you can. So I guess I can't fault it too much. But how much more sadistic than that can you get? Especially involving cannibals. My final thoughts, The Hills of Ice 2 is still not a terrible film. It did measure up to the 2006 remake, but it's still watchable and it's still a fun, gory ride. I'm giving The Hills of Ice 2 a B-. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and get ready to ties. Share. What did you think of Hills of Eyes 2? Did you like it or did you hate it? Leave me your thoughts down below and let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned for my review for Anna. I have to go 40 miles out of my way to see that movie because my theater chose not to play it for some reason. So stay tuned for that and thank you so much guys for supporting this channel the way you've been. I really do appreciate it. I, I love you guys for that and ask you to continue to do so. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace the rip out.